Hi, today I have another gas mask for me. This one I got for Christmas. It is the I wonder if people that know this can tell by the bag. The World War II light anti-gas respirator. Now the one I have has got some interesting history and I'll tell you about that later. So first you have this bag. About the history, I don't know if this is the original bag that the British used. Um, because the history about my mask is this got given to the Dutch army, Danish or Dutch, I don't know, Dutch or Danish, whatever. Um, army. Um... And I don't know this was the original bag. So this is the bag with a nice strap. And at the back to buckles it was it was usually put round the side. Um but yeah, so first here you have a wee pouch. Um that kind of comes out. Oh yeah, this must be the British mask because it's got it's uh, it's got that must be yeah, that must be. Um, but yeah, this you have your outfit dimming, anti dimming kit. Um, the on screen top, it's got cloth. I'm not going to take it all out. This one isn't used, I think. Uh, try that. Then here, you have your paste. Stinks. Yeah, it does not look nice. Well, it must have been used because the paste has kind of been removed, but the cloth doesn't look used. So, yeah, that's our certificate. This bag looks to have bits of blood on it, but hopefully, it's just paint up blood. You would pull it open, you see my anti gas respirator. Um, you have a wee leaflet. This is definitely. Uh, this was issued in 1967. Um, you have your booklet. I don't know if that's that your Danish, whatever. I don't know. Uh, it's just a leaflet I can use. Stuff like that. It's quite cool. Some pictures. It's cool. Try to adjust it and how to put the filter on. Yeah. Okay, now to the actual mask itself. And this one I can tell is definitely given to the British because obviously the Britain made it. It also came with these stuff. Royal Marine Band of Service. Two of them in there. So, okay, so this is the mask. Um this one's quite interesting mask because this was I think specifically made for D-Day. Now this rubber bit where the filter bit goes. Now usually while we're to army mask, the filters are like physically attached, but this one has a, I think it's a 14 millimeter thread filter to put the filter on. Um, but you, Nazi Germany during World War Two and um, the other enemy forces, I forgot what they were called actually, they they all they used screw on filters. But Britain didn't really catch on to that idea. So you have a screw filter with a recap and the filter. This filter contains asbestos, so don't breathe through them obviously. And keeping it, it's this one sealed actually. I'm not gonna take that off just in case. Better safe than sorry. It screws on just like that. And there's two light anti-gas respirators. This is lag one because it has a flat piece here. But there's a lag two with a more kind of involved uh, speech tracker. So there's. I'll put it on without the filter. Strap it on. And there's some um, stamping on the filter. Okay, so overhead. That that's what the mask looks like on. Um hopefully you can hear me okay, but it's the filter not the filter, the speech shark arm isn't that good. But yeah. Whew. 
That is the World War II light anti-gas respirator. To be honest, this is one of my favourite army masks used during World War II. My favourite Smart 4, always, but this one was also quite cool. Um, this one, surprisingly, is the only mask that I have in my collection that came complete with the bag, the anti-dimming kit, the filter, all the filter plugs because all the other masks that I've gotten, except from the civilian ones um, just came with the mask complete, sometimes without the filter, sometimes with I've got three MK5s with one one that came with filter, like a really bad conditioned one one that didn't come with filter, then one that came with a filter but none of them came with a bag, the anti-dimming kit, blah 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 um, yeah, that's the leaflet that just goes in there. Like that outside pocket. I love the Silas bag. I prefer this bag than any of the other ones that were used because they just have a really nice, cool piece. It's really cool. I like it a lot. This is the World War II Light Anti Gas Aspirator. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.